2002 Buick with Sabre Limited. Two thousand two Buick with Sabre Custom. Nineteen ninety nine Ford F one fifty. And nineteen ninety nine Mercury Mountaineer. Two thousand seven forty four fifty. Two thousand four Lincoln Navigator. <laughs> Two thousand ten X Mark LZ sixty AS Oh yeah. Two thousand four Ford F two fifty six point oh. Two thousand five F two fifty with a flatbed on it. Don't know what happened there. Two thousand fourteen Landmaster LM six fifty. And 2000 something John Deere GT 1993 International 4700 2019 Skag Tiger Cat 2 number 3 Last 
start if you guys will ever see on this one in start fest. 2021 Skag Tiger Cat 2 31 horse Kohler number 7 2021 Skag Tiger Cat 2 31 horse Kohler number 6 2019 Skag Tiger Cat 2 number 2 and the 2000 Ford Ranger Two thousand nineteen Ford Escape one point five turbo. <laughs> Next up, my dad's nineteen eighty five Honda Big Red two fifty ES. Now for my 1985 Honda Big Red 250ES. Gotta hold the choke on this one so I can go back to the exhaust. Now it's time for the Echo ES1000. Don't know what year it is, I tried to look. Primer on this one is cracked, so we'll just choke it. Now it's time for the 2014 Echo GT 230. This one is running about two, three, or four weeks ago, so. Sweet. All right, 2014 Echo SRM 2200. This one was also running the same exact time as the 230. Yeah. My dad says this is older than a 14, but. It does look older, but I just see numbers that say 1 4, so I just go with 
Hazel smoked quite a bit. Gold wore out. Nineteen seventy something Ford four twenty. This one hasn't ran in quite some time. Still got power. He's a runner. Two thousand eighteen Kubota RTV X eleven hundred C. Didn't know if it was running today, so but it was, I could tell. Two thousand four Ford F 350 6.0. And I know this one's been running. Sweet. All right, let's do the 2016 Echo CH6720H. See if I can <clears throat> do it like that. It's not gonna be good, but come on. Oh yeah, condition's wore out. Come on. Which I bet this one was running too, but it went way easier than I thought still. Let's do the 110. This one's been running too. <laughs> 2015 Ford F-250. 6.7 power stroke. Two thousand four International CE three hundred with the DT four sixty six E. Well, she's been sitting a little too long. Yep, she's dead. Well, I shouldn't have brought my tender back to the shop, so. Gonna have to skip this one for now. No training, but since I got in the trouble of trying to get it started, See if this thing will handle it. It's the first time it's ever went dead on us. And the batteries are from 2011. Let's try it. I don't think so. Let's try it one more time.
I'm not going to give her fast cranks at a time. Turned everything off. I don't think so. Well, I got my booster charging while it's hooked up. But so I'm gonna give this a little bit. Don't know if it'll do anything, but I'll cover that booster up. Come on, don't do that. Yeah, I got the cord unplugged. Get my boosters beeping. Sounds better. So I'm gonna find something to cover that booster up. See if we can get anywhere. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna leave it like that for a little bit. Never done this before, but it's a booster. But I'll let that go. Booster went up to 12.5. I'm gonna check the voltage in here. I'm not gonna try to start it yet. And I ended up, and I did turn everything off. Eh, it's still a little low, but we'll let that go. Well. Let's give her a try real quick. I got the booster plugged in still. Yeah, it usually starts up quick, but... Right this minute, it's not raining right now, but I set a timer for 17 minutes. Let this thing charge, but... It's been a total of like 30 minutes since it was charging and the smoke is is the neighbor over there his burn pile from you know all the rains making it stop but let's check the voltage on the booster <clears throat> I got hopes in this thing I really do let's check this still at 12.5 but this might be the last time if it doesn't start but I believe in this thing I really do It was so close. It's a lot faster. Oh, dang. If I had another booster or jumper cable, she would probably fire right up. I moved the positive to that battery and I still have the negative on the other battery so I don't think I'll make a diff but we'll see it's starting to get dark outside I might just have to come back at this another day I mean it's it getting faster it really is sound like it was going I mean those 2011 batteries dang we should have started this thing up that recently it's our fault it really is but let's give her another little bit. Well, as you can see, the voltage is at 12.6. I took the tender off the sears. Yeah, I know they're just maintainers, but I got the booster on also. But it should give it a little bit more voltage. So I'm just going to leave that on there. It's getting dark. But if I can't get this started tonight, maybe I'll leave that tender on it. I don't want to put both of them on. But, I mean, I never put two batteries with that tender on, but I got the booster hooked up still. But it's not raining at all right now. But I'm still going to leave this bag over the booster, which is actually making it stay dry, just in case it starts raining again. But we'll get that another, Let's see, what time is it? My dad usually gets home at about 9, nine o'clock. Well, I will give her another, let's say, 25, 30 minutes, maybe. But, well, yep, I'll figure it out. 
another 25 minutes I'll try it and that'll be the last time because it's going to be dark when I go try it again so after 25 minutes is up this is going to be one last go well 25 minutes has been up for a while and I'm going to have to try another day because my dad just got here so talk to him a little bit but we're going to leave that tender on it take my booster off just see how she does so I'll take this off Actually, just put the tender in. Okay. That should get the thing going. So, well, at least charged up, hopefully. Okay, so the next day, it is afternoon. I took that tender off, and it still showed yellow. And then I brought my yellow one here, and it's been on for about 30, 45 minutes, but. So, it's been charging a little bit. I checked the voltage earlier with it on, and it was a little over 12, so I'm pretty sure it's going to start now. Um, it's pretty nasty out today, but let's see if it's still, it's still charging, but we're going to unplug it when we fire it up. Here we go. Here's the keys. I did lock the door back up, but let's give her a try now. Starfest 2022 will be going again as soon as this thing fires up. I'm pretty sure it will, though. Oh, yeah. Back on. Hasn't rained in a while. Back on. That's weak as crap, though. Wipers suck on this, but there we go. She's going. A little exhaust fuel click. Smoking a little bit. Got a downpipe for it from the junkyard. Smoking a little bit, not bad. All right, everything's back on now, ready to go. 2011 Ford F-250, 1980 case 480d we just got this one running today after having some battery problems I'll tell you guys how we started this after i get to the inside so so we enter the inside of course and we got this thing running today and, uh, you know, we kept swapping batteries, brought one from the shop, nothing. Put the other one back in it, nothing. Tried the old one from the Landmaster, nothing. So we ended up taking the battery out of the Navigator, and that started it, but slow. But got the great white old battery in there. It's no better, but I think it's just the starter. It's going weak, but you guys will hear when it starts. It's going to be slow. Two thousand four Mercury Sable. Two thousand five Ford F three fifty six point oh flatbed. There 
goes. Two thousand twelve Yard Sport YS two hundred. I'm going to try not to give a gas because it seems to do a little bit better. See what I mean? If I push the gas, it won't. It'll get worse. Watch. See? I know that don't do anything. Give it a little second. Just in case, we'll do. Getting better. Oh, you're getting so close. That actually seems to help because it's getting longer. Come on, you can run. I believe in you. Oh, wow. I didn't even have the gas tap the whole time. Hey, there we go. Keep running. I'll pause it and, see, and then uh, let you guys know if it died or not. Yeah, it's been about 10 seconds and she's running good now, so we can finally do the next one. 1987 Ford Mustang 5.0. I'm going to have to prime this one. It's been a little bit. Next up is this guy. I'm pretty sure this was featured in 2020. Start Fest, the 2015 Echo CS 355T. It should still fire up, hasn't ran since then. So, let's see how she runs. Okay, I just primed it up, so there's still gas in it, but it's old. So, but this thing usually starts up pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Oh yeah! Right. 2001 Toyota Echo. Smoky. 
2005 Honda Rebel. Up, oh, dead junk battery. Booster pack time. Take two. This might waste my time here. It usually has in every start fest I've featured this in. That's usually its idling point. Still got 2020 gas in it, so. No. Oh, man. This is gonna drive me nuts. It's just the booster pack beeping. It always does that when I'm boost starting something like this. I don't know why. Ah! I can get it to run with choke off as long as I keep my hand on the gas. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dang it, man. Come on. Dang it. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. Last, it started last time, but it just took a while. Choke off. Ah, not happy with that yet. Oh, that was a lot of revving there. Easy. Dang it.
pretty sure we got it now. Don't die, okay? Don't die on me. You can run. You can run. Stay livable. It wants to run though so bad. Auto response is crappy on this thing. Jump all the way off. Oh, I don't like it yet. Don't die on me. Trying to keep it going. Dang it. I know this is a long video, but you guys like it. This is getting stupid. I got the choke all the way off now. Come on, you're just being stupid now. Come on. got the choke in the position it idles at so it's finally running hope you guys enjoyed that long start up on this uh, now we can finally move on do something even cooler I just kept revving it up a bunch on choke all the way off so I'm not gonna let it idle now um, I'll leave the booster on since the battery is shot all the lights will start to flicker see yeah, so I'm gonna leave the booster on. So now we can move on to the cool thing. Now this guy, my dad's 1976 Yamaha. Hang on, turn the gas on. It's got two brand new pack hawks on it. Rebel's not that happy right now. I think that's just reserved. The choke's right there, but we'll see if it starts without it. Nope. I don't know how this thing works. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's off.
What did you guys think of that? And a rebel die too, but. What do you guys think of that? Sound pretty good? I think that's the first time you guys heard it run by itself. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's do the bucket truck. There's the mileage, 286,000, almost 287. go. Let's get an exhaust view real quick. There it is. I'll let it run a minute. Still doing good. Well, I guess we'll do a start of the skid loader. You guys haven't seen this in quite a while. we go. Six hundred twenty nine hours on this one. There it is. Well, let's go ahead and do the twenty eighteen Echo PB twenty five twenty hand blower. You guys haven't seen this one in quite a while either. So here we go. Don't know how good this video's gonna be like that but well, you guys can see me prime it up okay three switch on choke I don't think you guys have ever seen this 355T, but it's a 2019 Echo CS 355T, just like the one that sits over there. So we're gonna start this one up. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but it's basically the same. So I like the other one, I like the blower, we'll prime it. All right, choke. Oh yeah, we gotta start it like this. Took choke off itself. Come on. So we're going to start this one out to 2017 Echo CS 620P. So let's go ahead and just get everything on. All right, let's set this down. It's got compression release, but I'm not pulling it. So I don't think I have to. Don't know if there's a primer on this. Well, so I'll just start it. Pull out with the choke. I think this, I just put the safety on. Here we go. Okay, this one is the newest and the baddest, a 2021 Echo CS 7310P. So, this one's pretty heavy, but yeah, let's start this one up. I've actually never started this one up before. 
We got two more chainsaws, I believe, after this. And then we're good to go, so. Here's the choke. Okay, switch is on. Okay, here's the second to last. It's a 2018 Echo CS590 Timberwolf. Funny you should say, there is another Timberwolf sitting over where the 355 is. And I tried to put gas in that one, started up, but it leaked, so I had to edit that, that one out. So I wasn't able to start that one. But here's this Timberwolf. Okay. Primer's on. Joke switch is already on. Here we go. We got one more chainsaw to do. And that is the smallest chainsaw that is in the truck. You guys have seen this one once. Hopefully you guys remember because I featured it once. It is a 2019 Echo CS 2511T. So it's going to be the easiest one to start. But it gets used every day. This one's got a primer. Switch on. Prime it. Choke. Where is it? I think this is it. Yep. chainsaws in here and we go and we got another echo to do and I'll have to be in the bucket truck for this guy right here but the 2021 or so I think I got a check here yep it's a 2021 echo PPT 2620 I'm gonna just set my phone down for this one because this is Actually, one of those little saw attachment ones there, so that's not going to be very good, but it's private. Alright, try no choke. It's a switch on. Hold on, let me pause and check the switch. Okay, I turned it on. I had to find it for a second. Alright, we're gonna try no choke. Yep. Just like my weed eater. Take about five, mine takes five bolts to start without choke, just prime. Nice. You guys enjoyed all these echoes. I really want to try to get this one running. The 1989 F250 with the 5.8 351 in it. Never took the battery out yet. But I mean, last time I tried booster pack and everything, and it just would not start. So I don't even have the booster pack now. 
something I think this something's going on with that starter but oh, let's see if it, I can get her to start yep this is what it all it did <laughs> even with a booster on it oh Come on, baby. You might need some of that. Why does it have to do this? We're gonna give it a break. The door's closed. So the light's not on. What's this thing open for? You see, the battery's not dead. It still shows fuel in it. Nope, nope. It's the starter, I can tell. I don't think this one's going to start, guys. Try one more time. Nope. I'll just take the battery out of it. Anyways. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. No, she's done for. I tried, guys. I really did. Well, damn. Alright, it's two months later, but I've put car a lot more cars and start vests since you guys seen this thing so I had it running already today but when it gets hot the starter doesn't hardly like to work at all so jump starting it is what I had to do the first time even though the battery's good because the starters weak but let's try it now oh, almost Give it a rest. Well, I'll give it a rest more. I might just have to let the truck sit longer. Alright, I'm going to give it a couple more tries and then if it don't start, I'm going to have to let it sit longer. Actually, I revved the raindrop a little bit and it did a little bit, so we're going to do that more. Alright, one more time, and then if it don't start, I'm going to let it sit. I'm serious this time. Because when it has been sitting all night long, it cranks a lot faster. Oh, we got lucky. 
Hey. That's just all it needs is, I'm pretty sure it needs a starter. I don't think the timing is off. Hey, we got her running, that's a plus. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit now. And we got her. Well, I guess we'll go back to tractor slash mower mode, but now we're gonna do with my John Deere 210. So let's unplug the tender. This one is going to start like crap, so it's probably going to take a while as well. Not long like the Rebel did. But this one should start. I had it running yesterday. Not bad at all today. I want to get a backfire and start test for you guys, but I'm going to let it run a minute. I haven't put any fresh fuel in it yet. Still got the same old gas in it. Yeah, I would start the 266, but pull string in it's messed up. Alright, here we go. I guess I can give it throttle. Now the carburetor. Well, it does not run good, but there you guys go. I'm glad to put it in Start Fest this year. Let's start the Craftsman. I haven't fired it up since I parked it in here. I kept the tender on it, so should start just fine. You got to take the choke off manually, though, because it's kind of screwed up. Just a sitting outside, so... Here we go. Tender's unhooked. Fuel's on, here we go. I guess I'll do the country clipper really quick. I'm not gonna let it run long at all because it's got a bad oil leak, but it's got oil in it. Take the tender off of this, I'll just unplug it. You guys wanna see an hour update on this? 525 on it. Just if you guys wanted an update on the hours. It's been a little while since I ran it, so. <clears throat> yep, it's smoking good. Wow, 
Firing right up though. Run. Well, let's do the little stump grinder. Hopefully, you don't move on me here. Still runs good. We always keep up on the oil change on everything. Little update: that was the old flapper from the ranch, old muffler from the ranch king, and of course the flappers are non-existent no more. Still runs good. All right, let's go back to echo mode. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is my 2021 Echo PAS 2620. It's very similar to that. 2620 in the bucket truck but you see this has a weed eater this is a weed eater you can put different attachments on so switch is always on so we're just gonna prime it about five times okay four is all it needs and I never choke it because it usually does pretty good Now this one you guys haven't seen in a while, 2019 Echo PAS 225. This one is harder to start, so I'm gonna choke this one. And the tip of it's broken. Yeah, this thing's a little bit louder because my dad modified the exhaust a little bit, so here we go. Alright, choke. Here we go. Okay, this one, this one's always a pain in the ass to start. 2013 Echo SRM 280. I don't know why this one's so hard to start, but it just is. Those prime choke. Oh, that wasn't bad. Better than it ever has. Put a new spark plug in it a while ago. 1997 7.3 power stroke flatbed got two batteries in there one of them was out of that tractor and the other one was out of that f-150 so then tighten the cables which could be an issue thing hasn't ran since i think winter see she starts up good It might not start. Yeah, here, let me see if I can. It's smoking though. So I'm gonna poke this at the fuel valve. See if any fuel comes out of it. Might need it to crank, but I don't know. No, it probably needs to be cranking. Okay. Oh, it's going. Awesome. Yeah, there was some air in there because I heard it spit out. I probably filmed it. Hey, there we go. He's running. Awesome. Hey, we got her going. I think just, oh, now it's smooth. Good to go. 
That's because it like was barely running when my dad parked it, so and we didn't try to start it back up. It's got a new fuel filter on it, but it's cheap, and there's probably still gunk and crap in the fuel, but I checked the oil, it's good, so I'm gonna let it run a minute. I didn't want to crank the piss out of it. I just wanted I didn't want to kill the batteries and start her quick, so those are the best batteries we got, so they're that's good. Hey, we got her started. I'm going to call that a big time win. Nineteen eighty-eight, seven point three IDI. Got the same batteries in there. Got the negatives tightened, but I couldn't tighten up the positives because they're a little screwy. But should start. The oil's all the way down on the dipstick, but I see a drop in there. Let's see if she starts. Hasn't ran basically in the same amount of time as the power stroke. Maybe longer. Here we go. Just start pretty good because it's pretty hot out. I fired right up. I didn't think it'd be that easy. What happens when you get really good batteries? Sweet man, and these batteries are really good too. Now I'm gonna put the one from the F-150 and the one from that in the 7.3 and see if I can get them to start. That, even though that one's junk, dude, that was easy, man. That's like it was just running yesterday. Awesome. 2002 Chevy S10. Fires right up. Twenty twenty Tiger Cat two. Nice. All right, now time for something that I just got running. The Still FS eighty one. It's not going to run very good, but. This should start. Okay, there we go. It runs it just won't stay running very well so but it fired and it ran so this thing is good to go 1999 Ford F-250 5.4 Triton Fires right up all the time. 2004 Suzuki Grand Vitara. Fires right up. 2004. Okay, time for this turd now. Uh, I just got this one running. This used to be Tony's weed eater. This was his weed eater. It's a 2005 Dolmar MS260. It was a year right there, but I don't think that matters. I just now started it up, make sure I didn't waste my time starting this one up. But it it finally fired up. I had to I took the fuel tank out, cleaned it all out, and it runs good. So let's get it started. Okay, here we go. 
switch is already on. I'll probably adjust the idle a little bit. Runs good. This was Tony's as well. This was getting ready to get scrapped because it, I guess it wasn't able to get running. But since I've, me and my dad got it running, it's been perfect. It's a 2000 Echo PB260L. As you can see, this thing actually has not ran in a while. Probably a month. Primer on this one's not broken or not cracked, but the switch is right here, which is already on. This is also the throttle that. All right, start it up. All right, move this thing back a little bit. Choke it. this gas out because it looked like it had just pure gas in it without mix but it, it's running good still after that nice now it's time for the echo pb 1000 it hasn't ran in a while either this we had to take off the echo pb 1010 that's over there because that thing it seized up several times that's an old 98 i'm pretty sure so that's the parts uh, blower now my dad's had that thing forever and my grandpa which is my dad's dad he's had it since new so he just gave it to my dad so yeah that thing is uh wore out so that's why we got this one this one was five bucks and it's basically the same thing other than it's a 1000 instead of a 1010 so this one let's fire this one up too it hasn't ran in a while because we haven't been mowing at all so let's just go for it all right here we go no primer at all on this because it's too old here we go chose Oh, I have to hold it and start it. Seven Echo ES210 is next. None of these blowers have been started in about like three weeks. Let's prime this one up. Probably got no gas. Eh, it's got a little bit. This one doesn't prime up too well. Alright. Choke. Fine. 
All right, I haven't done this one yet in Start Fest this year. It's the 2000 Steel MS360. This is uh, my dad's personal one that we used to always keep at the house. You guys want to know what this is? That's compression release. So, for weenies, I'm just kidding, but. Yeah, I'll just keep saying for weenies. And I can't even pull it back up. I'm just show you what I mean. Yeah, see so you hear the compression, compression pissing out. So yeah, that's what that is. Maybe get something, pull that back up. Alright, gotta pull back up. Okay. Start this up now. <laughs> Ford F-150 with the 302 four-speed manual transmission oh. haven't started washing it yet because well me and my dad are going home for lunch it's still rolling just so you guys know Two thousand seven Chrysler Sebring two point four. This is my mom's new car. Sold the Buick for seven hundred bucks, and this thing didn't crank at all. It's got a new starter and a new battery in it, and there was a fuse that was blown and some kind of relay, but it's good to go now. One hundred twenty-four thousand. Fires right up. 2015 Mirage X200 HJS Bighorn. Fires right up. I gotta show you guys the lights. Oh, it's in gear. Two thousand twenty-two Denali YN fifty QT. Got it right. Come on. She's a little cold blooded. She's running. It's a brand new unit, so it's not quite broken yet. Probably not. Nineteen eighty six Ford Ranger. <clears throat> there it is. 
on to the Mark 8. Now for a 2018 Chevy Malibu. My cousin's just uh, bought this thing. I think either yesterday or today. It's got 112,000 miles on it. It is high mileage, but I bet I would assume it's seen a lot of highway driving. So, turn this off. Thing I noticed too is that. This light and this light are different colors, so I don't know if this one was replaced or that one was replaced. I would assume this one, because that's white, and this is an 18, so, yep. Fires right up perfectly. Spending a little bit more time on this one, because it's first... There's a little clip you guys seen. 2011 Toyota Camry. Fires right up. 2005 Ford F-150. Both of these startups were taken in Edgewater, Florida, so, or were added here in Edgewater. 2005 Polaris FL7529 MU. Here we go. Go on two stroke smoke. And a non-working gas cage. Yeah, all right. 1985 Ford Ranger 2.8 carbureted. Cars right up. 2005 Buick Rainier CXL 5.3 There it is Nineteen ninety nine Ford Ranger four point oh. Sweet. <laughs> 